What is the difference between corn and wheat? I am not a botanist or a nutritionist, but here is my take on the two. Corn seems to be similar and have some of the same benefits of wheat. Like wheat the exterior kernel of corn seems to have the most nutrition. The problem is that we don't have the necessary bacteria to digest it. The interior is mostly starch. Corn doesn't have gluten that wheat does so it doesn't work as well in breads that rise. I have heard that nutritionists tend to not favor corn, because our systems do not digest it well, and the by-products like corn syrup will go straight to fat rather than be burned up immediately. Corn has vitamin B6. Wheat I believe in some antibiotic characteristics along with certain acids. Wheat seems to carry a much bigger range of available vitamins and minerals. Also the body can digest the kernel exterior which houses a lot of these. The wheat germ is particularly high in vitamins as well they are both in the grass family and both are called cereal grains. Wheat plants flower and then form a seed head at the tip of the plant, while corn plants flower from one place lower on the stalk and the seeds corn kernels form within a sort of pot of leaves at that location. Wheat seeds are coated in a fibrous outer shell which is indigestible to humans and usually removed during the refining process. Corn seeds are arranged around a central core, the cob, within the specialized leaf coverings, the husk. To eat corn, the husk is removed but then the entire seed is eaten, leaving the core. The wheat stalks look much like grass, they are long and thin, and when dried they are called straw. Straw is used as animal bedding in many instances. The stalks of corn are very thick and much taller than wheat, getting up to 5 to 6 feet tall in some instances. Species, Z. maize and Triticum estivum. Europe only knew of maize corn after Columbus because it was domesticated in the Americas. Wheat was one of the first cereals grown in Europe thousands of years before. In the classical sense, it is considered the same because all cereal grains were called corn. Today mainly America, New Zealand and Australia commonly refer to maize as corn, and that came about because the early English settlers were describing maize as Indian corn, to differentiate it from the different corn they knew back in Europe, i. e. wheat, barley, rye, oats etc. If you read pre-Columbian English text, there is mention of corn. But of course maize was not yet known in Europe, so those texts are referring to the general term for all cereal grains then known. Corn has no gluten like wheat it is different. One carat corn zean is obtained from the corn gluten, which is a byproduct of corn wet milling industry. Maize is monoecious, which means that it has separate male and female flowers that occur on the same plant. The tassel is where the male flowers are located. A series of spikelets occur along both the central branch and the lateral branches of the tassel. A spikelet consists of a pair of bracts called glooms, upper and lower lemmas and palaeas, which are also bracts, and two simple florets composed of prominent stamens. The tassel produces and sheds tens of thousands of pollen grains which are dispersed by wind and gravity to the female inflorescences below and to neighboring plants. Wheat and corn are natural plant foods that offer an abundance of nutritional value. You can find several varieties of both wheat and corn. Wheat kernel typically undergoes an elaborate milling process in which much of the nutritional value is eliminated, while corn can vary in nutritional value based on species and size. For comparison, nutritional data is presented based on the common forms of durum wheat and sweet yellow corn, and serving sizes are based on nutrient content per 100 grams. Many people that are sensitive to wheat have no problems eating corn. Gluten is a protein that naturally occurs in wheat, rye and barley products, and it can cause intolerance in some individuals, leading to various symptoms of illness. Individuals with gluten intolerance should avoid gluten and foods that contain it. To do this, it's critical to know which foods contain gluten, and wheat germ is a food that must be eliminated in a gluten-free diet. The different hidden gluten in corn gluten, glue, is a composite of storage proteins termed prolamins and dot dot true gluten is limited to the grains listed above the storage proteins in maize and rice are sometimes called glutens but they differ from true gluten in wheat and other kernels 